we are in the midst of a crisis, a crisis caused by a virus that we imported from China. It got to us. We're not quite sure how it got to us. But I, what I want to talk to you about is not buying into the downturn of the market, not taking advantage of the crash, but taking advantage of the fact that this will never happen again. We have as bright a minds as we have working on how to save the economy right now. I will guarantee you that there are at least five locations here in the United States and probably another five around the world where they're working on the solution to make sure that this never happens again. What's it going to take to make sure that it never happens again? It's all right there. 5G is the crux of it. 5G is the source by which we are going to gather data, big data, on you and I to make sure that you and I never have the threat of a virus that could kill us again. And how is that going to work? And how are you, how are you going to position yourself to take advantage of it? I've been through a number of these crises. I only, only two of them did I have enough that it made a difference to me. And that was the dot-com bubble and the uh, subprime crisis. It jeopardized everything that I had. But I came through it and I learned from it. The beauty of what's going to happen next is that through 5G, when I get up in the morning in the future, I'm going to go in and brush my teeth. And I'm going to use a smart toothbrush. In the bristles of my toothbrush, it's going to analyze the saliva in my mouth. And 5G is going to then take that anal analytics, if you will, and feed it into the cloud. And artificial intelligence will then take that big data and compare my saliva to probably, what, a trillion other people's saliva that same morning? And it will analyze it and slice it and dice it and find any abnormalities. It will go into the back data and find who got sick and who had common traits that my saliva had. This will happen probably in the next five years. After I finish brushing my teeth, I'll go into the commode room and I'll poop. I'll poop into a smart toilet. My toilet will have probes that will analyze my poop. It will then take the analytics and it will feed it into the cloud through 5G, where again it will be sliced and diced and compared to the poop of millions of people around the world. I'll then pee into a, a receptacle, which will go to my septic tank, but my pee will be analyzed. I won't have to go once a year for a lab work where they test my poop, my pee, and my blood. It'll happen every day. I'll go out and I'll put my finger into a little device that will over ever so slightly prick my finger and take the analytics from my blood and send it into the cloud. And it will be analyzed. I got to thinking about this, particularly the toothbrush, as I learned that right not down far from me, where they were having the virus test, people were waiting three hours in line to get tested by opening their car window and somebody probing in their mouth and then putting it in a container and sending it off and getting the results in three days. That'll, that will never happen again. It'll happen in my bathroom, and it'll happen every day. My house will be a smart house. And as a result of me having a smart house, I'm going to have a voice-activated operating system. We'll either call it Alexa, Siri, Google, whatever. And it will become my doctor. My doctor will be a bot. My doctor will gather this data 
that happened in the bathroom in a, with my doctor, my bot doctor, will tell me exactly what the results were on a daily basis. I'm also going to have a coach. And my coach is going to be a bot. And my coach is going to be reading my physical activity that's being reported for my Fitbit or my iWatch or my whatever watch. And my coach is going to tell me to get up off my butt and get out and exercise. This is going to be the world we're going to live in. This is going to be the opportunity for you to invest in the future. You need to think past what's happening today. You need to think past this virus and think what are the changes that are going to occur, occur as a result of this. What is going, this can never happen again. We cannot allow our economies to be shut down. We cannot allow employees to be laid off. We cannot allow unemployment hit 20%. We cannot put ourselves in this jeopardy ever again. And there's only two ways to do it. One is to become totally isolated and build walls, build a wall all around the United States and not let anybody in who might infect our utopia. Or we create the vehicles, the machinery, the technology, the knowledge, to make sure it never happens again. I think it's obvious that this will happen. And I think it's important, if we're smart investors, that we decide, or not decide, but we determine who are going to be the leaders in this. And some of them, some of them are in a garage right now working on it. But what I'm betting is the people who currently have the big data, have the quantum computers, have the artificial intelligence, have the wherewithal to analyze this data, are probably going to buy them up. And they are probably going to be the leaders that take us into this new generation of new medicine. Now, will doctors stay? In? Of course. My bot doctor is not going to be able to do the final analyst, analyzing and he's not going to be able to uh, administer the treatment. But doctors will become practitioners and the diagnostic work will be done through technology. Now, I believe this is going to happen. I hope I've convinced you it's going to happen. So who are the companies that are going to lead us in this direction? I have preached, read this book, The Big Nine. There are the nine companies. Six of them are here in the United States. Three of them are in China. These are the people who control the technology today to make what I just described to you happen. It will happen. It has to happen. It All the makings are there for it to happen, so there's no reason it won't happen. My role in this is one of thinking outside the box. I know that 99% of the people in the world right now are in fear. And then there's 1% of them that are trying to figure out what to buy and what to sell. And then there's one one hundredth of them who are thinking like I'm thinking and are saying, this is happening. That's, that's artificial intelligence. This is big data. This is the virus. This is 5G. This is smart homes. Let's connect all those dots and make sure that this, or any form of it, the virus, never happens again. Now there's going to be some other benefits about this. If you've got a bot who's telling you to get up off your butt 
and get out and exercise and stop dr eat, drinking those sweet drinks and stop eating so damn much food because you're going to have a smart scale as well. You're also going to have a smart in your bathroom. You're also going to have a smart mirror. And you're going to step in front of that mirror naked. And then you're going to have to answer for what the mirror sees and what your bot doctor and your bot coach come back and tell you. Now, the other thing that I think is going to happen, and this is a ways down the road, but if you aren't taking care of yourself, I'm going to have a pair of glasses that as I walk into a room and you got the virus, it's going to tell me to get the hell out. It's going to identify the bad behavior behaviors. And it's going to possibly even, as we have voice recognition and we have facial recognition, it's going to take your temperature. And it's going to know if you're running a fever. And it's going to be watching you. And if you start coughing and sniffling, it's going to tell me to get the hell away from you. This is what's coming. Because, trust me, this can never happen again. It can't. Now, you know how to invest. You know what companies to buy. I've been telling you. I have sent you a list. I have sent you, and if you haven't gotten it, this is the place, the URL you go to, and you sign up, and I'll share with you exactly what I'm investing in. I'll also share you a link to this book. And start acting like you want to succeed. And people who succeed... Do it through knowledge and courage and intelligence. I've just given you the ticket to your future.